I want you to follow every prophetic word that God has given us here, particularly about the coming elections. One major thing I told you was that we have come to the season where God will cause David to arise, isn't it? So David can be anybody. But David is a prophetic picture of the identity of not just the individual, but the system that God needs to raise to salvage the democracy of Nigeria. Are you hearing me? So when you hear prophecies, seek wisdom from God to understand it. Don't try to give it your own interpretation. You may be wrong. Amen? I'm saying that in light of all that has happened. So all I'm telling you tonight is whether primaries were fraudulent or not. Now, I told you, if you follow, those of you who followed the prophecies very well, I spoke to you before the opposition primaries, right? At Compassion. I told you about the exchange. Yes or no? Talk to me now. I told you about the exchange, right? I told you I saw people standing in a single line. And shortly before the day, I saw people coming out of that line. That was the exchange. I told you about meetings going on. About the said party in power. And those meetings happened shortly before the primaries and it altered everything. Now, I'm not here to try to correct myself in light of what has happened. All I'm here to tell you is, this is not the end. Amen? Don't be too sure that the candidates you have now are going to still be the candidates by next year. Are you hearing me? Now, if everything I had said from the beginning were not coming to pass, can doubt it. Isn't it? But one after the other, we kept seeing it happening. Those of you on our WhatsApp platform, I gave a voice note about a month or two ago that I had a vision and I saw bombing in a church and I saw killings and you, it happened last Sunday. So all I came to tell you is what is happening now is the wisdom of man. Amen? And this is where it has gotten to. And to show you that they are not ready, they didn't even have plans for their vice. All they were after was power. Let me have it first. And now they are confused. Who do I pick? So this is what the Lord is saying. The wisdom of man has gotten to his peak. From this point, there will be a shaking to September this year. Now, <laughs> I didn't mean to prophesy, but God is just speaking now. I'm not a prophet who no. From this day till September this year, there will be a shaking. There will be more confusions than has been witnessed from January till now. And it is because the shakings are the signature to the entrance of God's wisdom. Let me say it again. The shakings are the signature to the entrance of God's wisdom. And the earth was without form and was void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. But the Spirit moved upon the waters, and God said, So I prophesied as I was commanded, and there was a shaking, and behold, bones came to his bones. This shaking will begin or will be the prelude to the assembling of God's purpose concerning the democratic future of this nation. At this point, anything can happen. Are you hearing me? What did I say? At this point, anything can happen. That a man has the ticket does not mean he will go to the polls. And even when a man goes to the polls and wins, by any means, does not mean he, will, he mean he will sit there. It has happened before in Nigeria. <sighs> 
precisely 30 years ago now. This is prophecy being fulfilled. In 1992, there was an election in Nigeria. A man of God gave a prophecy then, but maybe they didn't pay attention. Because most times God will not come and speak through popular people. He, he has hidden these things from the prudent and has revealed it to the little. A man of God in this country spoke during that election. And he said the loser will be the winner and the winner will be the loser. And the luckiest of them all will be this Alhaji from the north. What's his name? The one that died. Um, Amin Okano. Well, whether people paid attention or not, it so happened that after the election, the election had three contestants. MK Oabiola, Alhaji Amin Okano, and one other person. Just the way, you know, both of them were Muslims. Just the way now, we have two Muslims coming from so this is history repeating itself and if you don't study history you will make the mistake of history till you become history and what happened Abiola won the election shortly before the election Aminu Kano died sorry the other fellow died Kano won a loss to Abiola Abiola won but he never sat on the seat Rather, he was in prison till his death. The winner will be the loser, and the loser will be the winner. History is about to repeat itself. But this time, the wisdom of God will be displayed. God will use Nigeria as an example for other nations. Like I said, anything can happen at this point. Are you hearing me? I can't talk again now because if I talk some of you it may be what you want or you, you may want me to say what God doesn't want me to say what I will tell you is go back and watch every video the answers are there every election prophecy video watch it again you have not exhausted it the answers are still there but I want to encourage every one of us Christians including myself I know that God will intervene in this election but I believe our vote will play a major role so if you are not registered go and register what did I say if you are not a registered voter go and how many of you are registered here you have your PVC raise your hand up when are they closing the registration eh? ending of the